my crafty friends. Today is day one in the DIY crafting presents, and we're going to make scrubbies. So using a scrubby cotton, we're going to take the end and loop it over just like that with the long end on one side and push the long end up and grab it with your needle and pull, and that causes a slip knot. So you should be able to make a larger or smaller loop by pulling on both ends. Okay, so now you're going to take that and chain four. That's uh, two, three, and four. And then take that and slip it to slip knot it through the first chain and you'll have a circle. There we go. And then we're going to do a half double crochet. And this is, it can be really tricky with this yarn. You just have to go slow. And if you drop something, just go right back. And with this scrubby yarn, it's really pretty easy. Um, you're not going to see the mistakes if they're tiny. Okay, so inside the circle, we're going to put 10 half double crochet. And after a while, when you get around to the end, you do a slip knot. And a slip knot is just bringing through the yarn and then pulling it through both stitches. Okay, now we're going to get ready to do this, the second row, which is all these stitches are half double. And the second row, in each stitch, you want to put two half double crochet. Go all the way around and then do a slip knot again. Half double crochet is yarn over into the stitch yarn over, pull that through all the stitches, and it makes a nice tight um, stitch, but gives you some bulk. Single crochet um, is a, makes it harder. It brings it down to, you know, takes longer. You could probably do it, but it would take longer. And being that this this yarn is pretty um, I don't, I don't know how else to say it except confusing because it's got all that scrubby around it and I don't know if it's the color, but it, it can be difficult to see each stitch. And as long as you power through, you'll be fine. You should be able to make it. And again, a slip knot is just putting the hook into the last or the very first stitch you put in and then yarning over and pulling through all the stitches. So I'm just checking. If you get to the end, especially with the scrubby, um, you, might, you might feel like mm, there's just not enough. Just add another. So this is going to be, uh, how can I explain this? So this third row is a double crochet. No, I'm sorry, a half double crochet, 
in one stitch, a half double crochet in the next stitch, and then two double crochets. I tried to write it out in the titles, um, but it can be confusing. So it's going to be all the way around is going to be the same thing. Half double, one, half double, one, and then two half doubles. And that's going to help increase so that your scrubby gets bigger. I hope that makes sense. I'm, I, I think saying something and seeing it is two different things. So let me try to get a close up and see if that helps you. Okay, so it it's going to show you, um, it's, it's really difficult, but it's in each, all the way around. So you're going to do a half double in one stitch, a half double in one stitch, and then two half doubles in the third stitch, and then back to a single half double, single half double, two half doubles. And it's really, I'm trying to get a close up on this and I, I don't think you can see the stitches as well. Again, because of the scrubby cotton, but you know, that's what make this, what makes this um, a good yarn for little scrubbies. So hopefully that, that helps you in some way. Okay, so that's the third round. You see it has a nice little flat little disc. It looks lovely. And if you can get some really good colors to match. Um, see, now this is a um, little smaller than the other ones I made. And the other ones I made with a double crochet. And that made it bigger. So you can see what I'm talking about about doing a half double or doing a single crochet. A half double will make it thicker. The double crochet makes a longer stitch. So whatever works for you, it, it works no matter what. I'm gonna be doing a another round here and coming around. And during this time, I just wanna tell you that if you enjoyed crocheting and you don't know already about Bag O' Day Crochet, go to her channel. She does tons of uh, patterns and she walks through and she has a really good uh, way of explaining how to do things. I did a scarf just recently and the stitch is beautiful and I, I don't do fancy stitches, but it looks like a fancy stitch. And it's just a very simple stitch, putting it together. You can make a scarf. She makes lots of hats. And those are really, really quick presents to do. I'm not going to be showing any of them, but you can, if you've got the time and you wanna do it, I really think um, those are really pretty, pretty inexpensive presents to do. You can also go to hobby.com or hobby.com. I'm not sure exactly the pronunciation. It's, I think, a Dutch company. It's O H O B B I. And they have beautiful yarns, um, but it does take some time for it to come through because I believe it's coming from overseas. Those yarns uh, that I've gotten from them, I've been very, very pleased with. But if you go into any of the hobby places, you can, and locally, you can find some really nice yarns that are inexpensive. I picked up a few from uh, Michael's. So, you know, don't give up. If you have questions, just comment below and I'll try to help you. And I really do hope that this has inspired you somehow. We're going to be doing... Uh, a little bit more till the end and then we'll go on to our next one to to add to our little list of presents that we can make 
I hope you've enjoyed this. Please subscribe so that you'll see when I upload again. It doesn't cost anything and it really helps the channel. I appreciate that and I'll be talking to you again soon. So take care.